I know you want some strategies to elevate to the next level. And I just wanna share with you my experiences of all the losses and wins that I've had in my life. And really, what really catapulted me to the next level. And the simple truth is, when everyone goes left, you gotta go right. And you just can't be what the masses are. You gotta be different. And I'm here to tell you that success is a very lonely road. Very lonely road. I mean, at times I don't have friends to talk to. They don't understand my situation. And I know you feel the same way too. And so if you want to really get to that next level, it's really about finding opportunities. It's about finding a crack in the wall while everyone else is stuck on the other side that you could just squeeze through. And at first, I'm telling you, it might sound like a stupid idea. And when I first started YouTube videos, I really did it out of the kindness of my heart. I still do, but I saw that not too many people were giving like interviews and educational things about trucking and I thought I could help. So I saw that small crack in the wall and I was able to squeeze through and I'm still fighting through this wall. You know, I got like one foot in, but it's changed my life. It's given me so many opportunities, so many friends and so many people in my life that care about me and I feel very fulfilled in life. So if you really wanna to get to that next level, what you need to do is you gotta be different. Just like in trucking, I know some people are dedicated, they might have schedules, but just say for the sake, you are your own owner operator, you could do your own thing, all right? Well, if everyone's driving from eight to seven o'clock p.m., drive early in the morning, right? Because what do people hate? People hate being in traffic, they can't find places to park when they try to end their day. And if possible, if you can start driving two o'clock in the morning, well, there's no traffic. If you try to find parking, well, people are starting their day, so there's gonna be all of these parking spots open. And that's just one analogy. It's kind of like when people tell you they don't want to go to New York, they don't want to go to Manhattan. Well, if you can see that crack in the walls, that opportunity that people don't want to do it, well, you jump in and you do it. I'm not telling you to get used by your boss or by the company, but find an opportunity. Because I can't say this enough, and my dad told me this, but I know these are probably not his words either, but we have to live different, you know, today to be able to just live an amazing lifestyle later. You have to make those sacrifices now. But all of it really doesn't mean anything if you don't have a blueprint. Because if someone has a high paying job making $100,000 a year in trucking and they got no game plan, at the end of your career, you're gonna be broke. I'd rather make 40, 50 Gs a year knowing that I have a blueprint, a five, a 10 year plan. How am I gonna save money? You know, how am I gonna put that in the bank? How am I gonna make that work for me? How am I gonna find ways to leverage my time? Because if we're talking about time, the one thing that you'll never get back is time. And so that's the thing that we give up the most. And why do we do that? Well, I know for a lot of us, including myself, we never had the opportunity. We don't have a rich family. We might be the first one to ever buy a house. We might be the first one to ever own a company. And so we're starting at the bottom. But with that, you might have to work extra hard to get to that level. But when you do, you stop trading time for money. There's a time when to do it and there's a time not to. And I hope this video receives you well. And a lot of times, it doesn't mean anything. I could be saying the same thing every day on videos, but maybe today you just need to hear it.